Next up, Konami have announced and released Skell Attack, a bit of a, a sort of out of nowhere, this one, really. Uh, it's a quirky dungeon crawler with gameplay, side-scrolling action-adventure style. I like, again, Alistair, I like the animation of this. I think this looks really nice. Um, whether there's enough there to entice people to go out and, and, and get it, but I have to say I do like the style of this. Yeah, it's another cartoony one, isn't it? There, mm-hmm. There's, I, I don't know why. I've always drawn to these kind of cartoony things. Me too. So just, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's been, it's, like they say, dropped out of nowhere, compared to, I think, the second, and it's on Steam, where it's had mostly positive reviews. So, I mean, it's it's probably a good game. I just don't really know anything about it, because, like you say, it just appeared. <laughs> yeah. It's um, part of a, a new initiative, I think, Konami's doing, where they're kind of getting into indie publishing. So... I think because it's Konami, they maybe not want to market it too hard. But yeah, it looks charming. It's um, I I know we're all of us on the podcast. Maybe this would all change if we got hooked onto Minecraft Dungeons. But we're we're not dungeon crawling, uh, kind of fanatics. So the fact that this one is side scrolling, it the combat kind of reminds me of Wonder Boy. Um, mm, that yeah. kind of gets me in the door, uh, and would be fun to try a genre I've never really delved into, Mike. Yeah, me too. I have to say, I do like the look of this. I think of all the kind of um, art styles they could have gone for, especially with it being a Konami release, it's, it's as you say, it's it's a big one. There's a big uh, publisher behind that. So it is interesting. I'm not saying that's necessarily a good or bad thing. It's just interesting that this has come out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, I do like the art style of this. I must admit, I am going to investigate this a little further and it might be one that I, I come back to. Uh, the next the up, big thing I find most amusing about that is the name of the vegetable developer. The developer is Yakuza Inc. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good point. An interesting game for a uh, name for a game developer, but eh, eh, we'll yeah. skip over that. <laughs> Why not? 